What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We're going to talk a little bit about the Lacera. 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 However you want to say it. I'm going to call it the, uh, the Lacera. Lacera? Lacera, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we're going to talk about it. Blade and Whip uh, came out in update 18. I know it's a little bit later than uh, normal, but uh, I took a little bit of time on this one. So I'll show you the setup here in just a little bit. You saw me run it in the high level sortie solo, uh, which I'll probably have a link in the uh, YouTube cards there so you can see it. Again, if you missed it. So it is definitely a high level weapon or end game weapon, whatever you want to call it, consider it. It's entirely up to you. Electric damage um, is the base of this. So it is an element weapon, which is a nice thing to have. You can pair this real easily with like magnetic corrosive radiation, depending upon what you want to do with it. Nice long reach. Uh, we'll talk a little bit here in a second when I show you the setup. Again, no physical damage. Uh, what you're going to want to do, though, is look for that uh, Defiled Snapdragon stance. Okay, that's going to take you a little bit to form. But that's the bad boy that you're going to want to have on this uh, weapon. And uh, it works on the, the Lacera and the Mios. Okay. And this is dropped by Scorpions. Grenier Scorpions. So, But it is extremely rare. So get ready to grind for it. And get ready to grind hard for it. Uh, the... Uh, Damage combos out of the Defiled Smack Dragon um, are beautiful. Charge attack is a nice thing with this. So this this stance makes this whip just lovely. Okay, I, I don't know how else to say that, but just lovely. So um, I want to get say that I know this and it does that and blah blah blah, but uh, just play with it. I mean, once you get this stance, you're gonna love this blade and whip you may not want to put it down i'm just saying so let's go ahead and get over to the way i have it set up okay let's take a look at the lacera lacera whatever you want to call it like i just said upgrade we're keeping it simple okay like i said the file snapdragon is what you're going to need let's take a quick look at the combos here claws of the drake heart of the naga fangs of the lindworm soul of levitation uh pretty easy to pull most of these off honestly um if you will. Pressure point, spoiled strike are my main damage, just raw damage. Uh, spoiled strike, of course, is going to kill our melee speed a bit, but we're going to put the max rank fury. So we're going to end up with a plus 10 speed uh, percentage here. So 101 in speed. Let me just quickly do this so you guys can see. Uh, I'm keeping the life strike on here. It's personal preference. You don't have to have it, depending upon what frame you're on. You can add more element damage if you wanted to. You could, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can't add physical damage, but you could do whatever you want. But I keep this on here, even when I'm using um, my Neza. Uh, even if I mean, if I'm coming out of Warden Halo and I don't have a chance to to pop it again because I'm in a combo, this is always good to have in case I need to channel up. Uh, in this case, I've got pure radiation right now. So I'm using the Voltaic Strike with a Molten Impact, with a Shocking Touch, and with Focus Energy to key, uh, increase my channeling efficiencies uh, a bit and uh, still get 60% extra damage. This is also going to give me a 72% status chance, as you can see, and the numbers are quite well. This was run, this exact setup, uh, inside of the high-level sorties. Uh, we'll have a link, of course. Uh, in the uh, YouTube card system there should be in the little upper right hand corner You see a little eye there uh, and you'll see that pop up So if you haven't seen me run it, you can run this thing in high level stuff No problem at all and if you got the defiled snapdragon stance, you're gonna have fun doing it You're gonna whip those bad boys pull them yank them. Oh, yeah. I uh, yeah. Yeah, just yeah So I mean this is it you can run double elements if you want to which I have done generally I'll run a corrosive with heat proc um, on here Still getting a nice status chance out of it and uh, whatnot, but in some cases I'll switch it to just all corrosive or just all radiation or just all blast, depending upon the situation if I really want to on uh, uh, if I'm looking for something very specific at that moment. That's it. Comments, questions? I'll catch you guys in future episodes. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys actually next year in 2016. See you then.